Hey guys, it's Cauliflower. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the winter of my discontent. How are you guys doing? I'm hoping that you're doing very well. Today we're going to be doing some unboxings and some tryings. That's not a word. I just made that up, but who cares? Because today we're going to be doing the combined subscription services of Ipsy Glam Plus that I don't, that almost just knocked me right off my chair and the Boxy Charm which this month I was wrong about last month. If you watch my last month's video, I said this was the boxy deluxe or boxy lux. I don't even know anymore. I don't even know if this is like the super boxy charm. All I know is it was like 50 something dollars. So I'm not sure if it's like the boxy supreme or the boxy lux, whatever it is, we're going to be going through it and hopefully trying on some stuff because as you can see, I am sitting here sands the rest of my face. We just have foundation and pretty much that's all. And and concealer. I did I did spoof on that. So we have foundation and concealer. And I have my trusty Game of Thrones box opener. So don't mess with me subscription services any old way. We've got shine on, shine on, shine on. Sparkle and shimmer is this month's theme for Ipsy. Here's all the product listings, and we will look at that a little bit later. Let's see. First thing I'm pulling out of the box is from Tarte. We have a stay and spray or stay spray high performance uh, setting spray. That's coolio. That's extremely coolio because I did not bring a setting spray in with me, and I did not expect it as I did not look into the box's details this month. I normally don't. Just ignore that. That's just the plumbing happening if you hear anything in the background. Any old way, so awesome. We have a full size, it looks like, a full size Tarte Stay Spray. Um, I know a lot of people are, are kind of discontented with, with Tarte. I know that's a word I just used already, but um, I still do like Tarte for certain aspects, and I think this came out maybe earlier this year. Maybe I'm mistaken in that one, but um, I'm excited to see what that's all about. All right, next thing in here is from Morphe. This is a lipstick, a mega matte, super matte, and the color is, the color is Morphe. <laughs> no, the color's not Morphe. The color's probably something else that I should be opening the package to let you guys know what it is. All right, let's see. Ooh, I like that packaging. That's some pretty cool, like, New York-esque uh, type packaging. If you've ever seen buildings in New York, like the Chrysler building, this kind of emulates that a little bit. So the color here is, uh, doesn't say. That's great, Morphe. Okay. But I do like this packaging. It's pretty awesome. So let's see. All right. And we, we got a little difference in Morphe this time with their lipsticks. We got an M imprinted right there and it looks like a really pretty shade. Let's, let's swatch and see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, that's more of a very fall shade. All right. So that's the next thing that we found in the box. Okay, thirdly, we have this palette from Itsay, Itsy, Itsay. It, it is Build Your Own Palette. It's a magnetic palette. Okay, that's uh, intriguing, Ipsy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks actually like one of those really fancy wallets that you can buy. And, okay. <laughs> These are the colors. I'm not very sure. Sorry about the ring light. The ring light doesn't help. Uh, let me see if I can turn this down and maybe give you more accurate. That's not helping. There we go. Okay. Um, Not really quite sure what that is. It looks like it's four different colors and it's magnetic. Okay. I'm assuming that I'm just looking at it the wrong way, but it does close very nicely. All right. That's uh, interesting. Let's move on to the next thing in here, which is from Evolu. Evolu for the fancy way of saying things. Evolu. This is <laughs> super, super oil. Super oil. And that's all it says. It's super and it's oil. Uh, the directions to apply two or three drops in any and... Oh, AM, hello. Mm, see what happens when I don't have my glasses in AM and PM. So it's just a standard oil that you put on um, in the morning and of course at night. Alrighty, 
Then we have a very shiny um, makeup bag. Ipsy does this towards the end of the year. They always throw in like either this like classic red or burgundy, but this time they went with New Year's silver or silver bells or silver balls. <laughs> Whichever way you want to go, Ipsy threw in some silver. All right, last thing in here. Um, it's two lip balms. These are lip balms. Okay, so they are from a company called Noya. These are organic peppermint lip balms. Oh, one is peppermint and one is in vanilla. Okay, alrighty then. Well, that was Ipsy. Let's go to the uh, card, shall we? And I'll try to read as much as I possibly can. So the It's, it's, it's a, the Vanessa Shadow Quad. So fancy. Uh, this ultimate winter eyeshadow quad. I don't know if I would say ultimate winter eyeshadow with four colors. Uh, the <laughs> Am I seeing this right or am I blind? The value is $60. I mean, I know that's tiny. Does that say $60 for four shades in a magnetic palette? Okay. Uh, next is the Evolu Skincare Super Oil. Its value is at, <laughs> um, am I seeing this right? It, it, does that say $68? Does that say $68? $68. Okay. The next is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape. Oh, this is part of the Shape Tape series. Okay, makes sense now. Stay Spray Setting Spray, and that value is at $29. Okay, I can breathe now. The Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in Morphe. That was the color. Morphe. Is there really a... Is, Morphe is a color? I Okay, all sorts of confused. And the value of that is $19. That makes some sense. And then the Noya Organic Lip Balm Set in Peppermint and Vanilla is valued at $7.98 for the two of them. Okay. Um, I think we're going to move on to BoxyCharm and see what we have in here. And we will um, dabble with the trying on after all of this wonderfulness is revealed. We are back with BoxyCharm. And that is a huge box. Okay, so BoxyCharm and the card, which is all sorts of bent at the moment. This is just whimsy. The whimsy theme. So we have everything uh, listed yet again, as we did with Ipsy. It looks like a bunch of really nice stuff. And of course, most of these is full size or value to be full size. Oh my. All right. First thing I'm seeing in here is from a company called Cosmetics. And it's in a nice little jewelry box. It looks like a jewelry box. It says clean, clinical, luxurious. What could you possibly be? Oh, <laughs> I just, okay. Um, so to say that that was that, that was unexpected is kind of putting it in um, a very uh, mild tone. I did not think that BoxyCharm was going to give us uh, 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 um, a, a, a device <laughs> that looks like this. Um, okay, so it says face and body. I'm assuming it, it's like one of those massager things, but at the same time, it, it does uh, resemble something else I really don't want to speak about. So we, we're we just going to put that over there. <laughs> we're going to move on to the next thing in the box, which is from Fresh. Thank you. Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I do enjoy Fresh. I've had a few of their products. This is for all skin types. Definitely full size, as you can see. I will not be trying this. Obviously, it's a cleanser. Um, it says gently cleanses face and eyes. So, awesome. Let's move on to the next thing in the box, which I also will not be trying today because it is a towel. This is Daily Concepts, individuals who think and sing in the shower. This is your hair. It's a wrap towel. And it's not that chicka 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 wa chicka 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 wa kind of wrap. It's a you know, wrap your head kind of a 
tell. Any old way, let's move on to the next thing in here that we possibly could be trying in this beautiful packaging by Chiate. So this is the Chiate Highlighter, Confetti Highlighter. I have seen a few people unbox this. I was not sure if I was going to be one of them, but I'm very excited about this because I do love Chiate and everything is mirrored. So now you're going to, you're going to see my ring light in there. So the highlighter is the confetti. Oh, this is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Let's see. Let's get a good gander at that. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Um, a little bit bronzy for my taste. So obviously this is for darker skin tones, which is completely okay. Maybe if I do go in, maybe I'll try to go in on a side that is less goldish, but it is really stunning. So there is that. All right, moving on. The next thing in here is from Too Faced. This is the Rich High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. I couldn't see what it said. And the color is in Two Night Stand. So if it was good enough the first night, you go in for a second night. Okay, wow, that is really paley pink. That's like gorgeous, but extremely pale. Kind of reminds me of the Dominique Cosmetics um, Lip Gloss and Lemonade that we got not that long ago. This is really beautiful packaging. I will give it to Too Faced for their packaging on this. So it's probably a, oh, look at that. It's a clear gloss. So that's either a clear gloss or a topper. And it does have a sweet smell, but not overwhelmingly sweet. So we will probably be trying that out with uh, the Morphe lipstick. Okay, moving on to the next thing in here is from Elemis which is a Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Elemis is a really popular uh, product in BoxyCharms. And I'm starting to see Elemis in the stores. Ulta is selling Elemis. Um, even Riley Rose Forever 21's uh, subsidiary beauty store has Elemis. So this is beautiful. I love the packaging on this. A pure... I don't know if this is rose facial or if this is a rose hip oil. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that is definitely straight up rose. And I'm a big fan of straight up rose. I love rose toners and I do enjoy a rose serum. So that is definitely something I will be trying out. Not necessarily now because as I explained before, my base is already on my face. Okay. Ooh, excited about this. I almost purchased this in Ulta the other day. This is from IGK. This is the first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. IGK is a company that I only got familiar with recently, like in the last year or so, um, when I did attend uh, Ipsy Live. Um, I did receive like a few products from them and I do like them. So this should be very interesting to try out. There's another one too, um, that they were selling on Black Friday that I kind of skipped over and I'm kind of upset that I did because I really wanted to give it a shot. But you know what? Hmm. You know what? We're just going to we're just gonna see. Only because I want to see what the smell is like. The smell is really pretty. And not that it's really going to do much for my hair at the moment because it's all curled and on second day hair. So who knows what it's really going to do. But, you know, just give it a little zhuzh because uh, my hair is boring at the moment. All right. Smells really, really nice. Um, I, I don't feel any like heaviness. There's no white cast. So I am liking this so far. All right. That constitutes us trying one product. All right. And we've got a few more in here. Let's see. This is in. Yep. It's on the floor. This is in a, oh, we've got a product from M Greengrass that was in a bag. Just a zippy, a Ziploc bag. This is dry oil spray. There's something about dry oils today. Oils um, for your face and oil and serums. And now we've got a dry oil in beach air. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what this is about. So I put it on, of course, the side where I've got the Morph 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 Morphe lipstick. And it's going to take it right off. That's okay. Oh, that smells really pretty. That has a... It's definitely like one of those shops that you go to that sell like all natural products, but not like Lush or anything like that. This has a very beach or like Mystic Connecticut smell. That's what it reminds me of. Kind of Mystic Connecticut. There's a store 
in Mystic Connecticut that makes their own types of like bars of soap and sprays and body washes and things of that nature. And this reminds me of that completely, 100%. But it smells nice and clean and fresh and more summery than anything else. But I digress. All right, since I knocked it on the floor, <laughs> we will go and look at the last product in here, which I have seen many different variations all over YouTube of this one. This is the Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics Palette. And I've seen ma many different versions. I've seen a green version. Ooh, but I like this one. This one is really, really pretty. The color story is very majestic on this. And um, I like the names. We've got like Briar Rose and Spindle and Grim, Enchanted and Kiss. So really, really pretty. Oh, it has a mirror too. Not many of these uh, novelty type things have mirrors. They're usually just, you know, like Hot Topic. They're usually just in the box, in the cardboard. Um, maybe they'll have like a slight little slim mirror. This has got a full mirror, which is really nice. So it's nice to display. Hopefully the um, product in there will be just as good. Okay, so let's move on to the portion of trying these things on. Before we get to the try-on portion of the video, I forgot about the listings and the prices on everything. So let's go through it. The Storybook Cosmetics. Um, the Storybook Cosmetics is valued at $65. $65 for this one. This is the Little Briar Rose palette, which I'm really happy that I did get. I like I like the color story on that. The Elemis uh, Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil is $79. $79. All right, moving on. Chiate Confetti Highlighter is at $32. The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser is at $48. We are just going on and on with the high levels of uh, prices here. The Daily Concepts Daily Hair Towel Wrap is at $18. So far, the least expensive of the box. The IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo is at $27. The M Green Grass Dry Oil Spray is at $36. Hmm. The Too Faced Rich and Dazzling Lip Gloss is at $21. And <laughs> the uh, Cosmetics thingy is, um, is, uh, is that $89? <laughs> I thought it was said $69. It's at $89. Okay, so let's move on to the trying on portion, which is not really a lot. Um, we're going to be trying this. I don't know if I want to incorporate this in there because there's only four colors. Um, the Morphe, the uh, Tarte, and the Too Faced, as I said. Oh, and the Chiate highlighter. So let's uh, get on with okay. that. So I went in and I actually just threw on a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blush just to kind of give my face a little bit more uh, color. And I figured that, I finally figured out how to open this little buddy. It was really easy. The plastic just lifted right, right up. Mm -hmm. So I figured I'm just gonna start with this as just like a simple base for my eyes. And then we're gonna go in with the uh, storybook and we'll see how that all works out. So I'm just gonna go in with the Morphe M578, whatever this one is. And we're just gonna go in with this little boring uh, <laughs> slate gray color. I'm gonna be looking into this mirror instead of the uh, viewfinder. Okay, we also didn't do eyebrows. There's no eyebrow products to do, so we're doing, we're doing really good. Sans eyebrows and just uh, going in with this. <laughs> Okay, so applying, you know, it's kind of nice so far. I don't see any skipping, but then again, that's just the base of it. It's just a regular old uh, boring gray color. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really nice. It's easily blendable. There's no skipping. There's no dragging. There's nothing of that nature. And the only thing I have on my eyes are con um, is concealer. So that is the only prep I do have. That's not bad. It shows up pretty nicely. All right, so enough of that. We're gonna go in with the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics. And I guess we're just gonna go play around with some of these colors. This should be really interesting. Um, 
I'm trying not to go the neutral route. I'm always going the neutral route. It's kind of boring at this point, but what is really screaming to me right now is chorus. So we're going to go in a little bit with that. Kind of just go into the crease a little bit. Let that be a transition gather and all of that nature. And I'm going in with a very light hand because it is a little bit powdery. So we're just going to do little light touches with that, with this chorus right here. Woof! <laughs> little powdery. Okay, next shade we're going to go into is Grim, but I'm going to change up my brushes here. We'll go in with this other Morphe brush. Just tap a little bit there and uh, corner. There we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, try that again. And uh, yeah, about as... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what I expected. But it's certainly not showing up much. So I'm going in for a third time. Kind of get some pigmentation with that. But it's really not giving me too much. So just going to uh, go with that. And it's not a packing brush per se. I think this is a blending brush. But um, I'm having to go in a few times just to get some color out of this one. So... That's fun and cute. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more, just uh, kind of just, you know, blend that all out. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. I'm going to go in with a little packer right here, which is from... What are you from? Oh, Luxie. This is a Luxie packing brush. And, um, hmm, I don't know which one I want to go in with. Maybe we'll try this, this castle. Hmm, I'm a little worried about blue. So we're going to go in with Kiss. We're going to try this. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that on that. So we're going to do a little bit of packing action right there. I don't, <laughs> that just didn't sound right. Okay. Little packing you know, light vacation, just a two-day bag. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. Okay. Yep, we're definitely not going for a very long trip. We're just going to take a nice little weekender and uh, see what's what here. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, I'm going to move in with the bottom liner row. I'm afraid to go back in with Grim, but I'm just going to put a little bit of the Grim there and a little bit of these two colors and kind of just throw it on underneath with the same packing brush and do a little packing motion with that and just spread it on through. Yep, yep, same amount of pigment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Same amount of pigment right there. Okie dokie. We are uh, experiencing a light wind. All right. I mean, it's not bad after you actually get it, get it to work for you. It's not bad the way it's applying. Like, it's not skipping. It's not giving me that horrible, you know, kind of like dissipating shadow look. It just, it takes a little bit just to kind of work with it. Okay, so I'm going to give myself a little bit of spritz with this Tarte spray right now, just to give it a little, uh, just give it a spray. Hello, Tarte. The smell on this is very strange. It's almost like a hair product. It almost smells like a leave-in conditioner, but not a good one. <laughs> I don't know. All right. I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and then I'm kind of feeling a little bit adventurous. So I'm going to probably try to pack on a little bit of maybe Enchanted, just a little bit. But this time I'm going to use my finger, just 
So that's what it looks like, just dry coming out of the pa the palette. I almost said paddle. <laughs> and we're gonna just press that, ooh, see that'll work. That works, we're just gonna press that in. And that is that. That's pretty nice. That color is definitely giving me some payoff, so. Just a little bit, and when I press it in, I'm really giving myself like a little bit of a eye massage there, just a nice little pressure point. Make sure that the color is properly packed on. Okay, all right. Um, now that we're good with that, I'm just gonna go back in with this a little bit and just blend it all together. Kind of give it a little bit of a dimension. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, and since there is no mascara in this box, I did bring with me my um, So Fierce by Revlon, which I do enjoy very immensely, just to put it on. And we're gonna do that. I do enjoy this mascara extremely. Okay, so I just went and put on my um, mascara off camera. I used the Revlon So Fierce Mascara, and um, so far, that's what the eyes look like. Okay, now we're going to go on to the next product, which is the Chiate Confetti Highlighter, and hopefully it won't be as goldy <laughs> as it looks in the palette and as it's swatched. So I'm going to be brave and just take my... My Morphe, this is my Morphe M500, and we're just gonna swirl it around, and whoa. I don't know about this one. This is definitely a go, oh, hello. You're very goldy, aren't you? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's definitely a very goldy <laughs> highlight. I've never seen anything this gold. It kind of reminds me of the Carly by Belle, palette a few years ago that she had where she had like um several different versions of like a gold highlight and they were all beautiful but definitely for for darker skin tones although although because I do seem to be pulling a little bit olive today for whatever reason it seems to be working I don't know I can't explain makeup from day to day I really just cannot but I actually am liking this a little bit I am gonna go down the bridge of my nose and of course on the cupid and over here on the chin a little bit and we'll go up here it looks like it's giving me a little bit of a tan glow should i say well i don't know but um not bad chiate not bad at all okay last but not least we're gonna go in with this morphe lipstick in uh Morphe. <laughs> um, yeah, just going to go right in with that. I did um, actually prep my lips before. I actually did a lip mask today, and I put on um, my Drunk Elephant lip balm. Oh, what am I talking about? Lip balms? Durr. Did we not get a lip balm in the Ipsy? Yes, we did. So we can actually prep our lips. I'm going to use this Noya in vanilla, and we'll just prep the lips because this is going to be one of those matte lipsticks uh oh I do hate one thing about lip balms some of them that leave like a little bit of that white cast do you see this right here yeah that's not cool that's not cool all right let's go in with Morphe by Morphe <laughs> Oh, this is lighter and I, hmm, imagined it to be. I was kind of hoping that it was going to be a little, darker than this, but, hmm, okay. This actually strikes me more as like a coral color. So this is something that I definitely would not use during this type of year, but I mean, it feels nice. It's nice. Um, it's not like very dry. I mean, of course I do have the lip balm underneath it. 
so it is a little bit moisturizing, but I was not expecting this type of color. Okay, I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm gonna put on the Too Faced Rich, uh, Rich and Dazzling <laughs> Lip Gloss over this guy just because uh, why not you know why not all right here's the packaging again I think it's beautiful it's gorgeous gorgeous packaging let's see it's not like it or uh huh <laughs> uh huh it's not like it or ours. yeah I mean that's pretty it's very very pretty I mean, it's a pretty color. It's definitely a pretty color. I don't think I would wear this um, at this time of year. Like I said, it's more, to me, looks more like a springtime look. All right, let's just reset it with the uh, Stay Spray. And again, oh yeah, mm -hmm. not digging the smell on this. This smells like hairspray. Okay. <laughs> So, um, everything I think is pretty much on my face that I could try today. So let's go through it. The storybook, um, the fairy tale storybook cos by Co storybook cosmetics. I do kind of like the way the eye look came out. I mean, it's not super pigmented. It's definitely not. You're going to have to work with it a little bit. Um, and I just did like, you know, a couple of colors. Um, the lay down with this from it's say, I I don't think that I think that I don't think it's worth what they were saying it's valued at. I, I just I yeah, just because it's able to close for sixty eight dollars. If that's what that red, I yeah, no, uh, no, not whatever. Not whatsoever. Um, the Morphe lipstick is is nice. I love the packaging on this. The color itself is really pretty, but it's more of a spring type color than it would be a fall winter color, like say something in the browns or in the cranberries, something of that nature. Um, the Chiate, that is the most surprising of this entire of the entire two boxes because I was expecting it to pull, as you see here, it pulled more uh, bronze and golden and on my skin, it's like a nice little champagne, which I kind of enjoy. It looks really, really nice as far as I can see. Uh, so yeah, and everything else was basically skincare. So both boxes did really, really well. We'll see how everything else is, but uh, that's it for this subscription comparison and try on. I know it was kind of long, but um, that's you know what we do these days when we haven't filmed in quite a bit. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you will do so, please make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell so you will be uh, notified when my videos do upload, the chances that they do, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.